One thing's for sure. We want our visitors to have a great experience on our site, no matter what device they're visiting from. Creating memorable, user-friendly experiences that look stunning and feel seamless across any device is the name of the game, which means designing responsibly. But what does it really mean to design responsively? To put it simply, we make elements scale and position fluidly, and we make our layouts adapt to drastically different viewport sizes like desktop computers, tablets, and mobile phones. Imagine creating one design that automatically adjusts to any screen size, shape, and orientation. So no matter what device visitors have, they have the same great experience. And since over half of web traffic is now coming from mobile devices, search engines like Google prioritize responsive sites. So if you want your site to be found, designing responsively is a no-brainer. For the rest of this chapter, we're going to talk about how to use Framer to design responsively, using the fluid layout properties we talked about earlier in this course, combined with something called breakpoints, to adapt our layouts so that they never break, no matter how big or small a visitor's viewport is. Let's jump in.